So once you're here, let's just say you want to take a trade in this area, right? You want to short this market right here. If you want to do uh, a limit order to fill, right? Let's say, say you want to enter right here. You want to put your stop like right here. Take profit down. Take profit down here somewhere. If you see right here, I'll tell you risk to reward. So let's just say you want to get a nice three to one there. So you hook that up, and now you can see <coughs> it's all entered right here. There's your stop, and there's your take profit. You simply just right click where you want to place the order. So over here, right? So you want to right click there, trade, sell, because you're shorting. The order price should already be in at that spot that you clicked. So that's where it's at. If you, sometimes you can't click it right on. So one one three four two, you would just uh, adjust that like that. And then you can click stop loss, take profit if you want. I definitely advise that. And you simply enter in your stop loss. One one four three nine. Take profit. One one zero. Five one. All right, so now you have in where you're entering your stop losses and your take profit. Now you can enter in your risk. You can either enter in the amount of units you want, but what I like to do is, you know, say I want to risk a hundred dollars or hundred and two dollars and fifty cents for whatever reason. Uh, you can do that, and it'll set the amount of units that you want that, that that you need to buy for that position size. So it's super easy. Right here, I'll even place the trade, even though I'm not going to take this trade at all. But so, say I'm risking a hundred dollars, sell right there. Now it's in there. From here, you can adjust your stop up to here, whatever you want to do. You can adjust your take profit. You can take profit earlier if you want. It's all up to you. So yeah, we'll just cancel that order. And uh, you can basically do the same thing. So say you have the same this mapped out here, and you want to have two targets. You just do this. Sell. You do the exact same thing. You enter in. I'm not going to enter it all in again, but you enter in the stop loss, to take profit, whatever you got to do. And let's just say you want two two targets. You want to risk a total of $100, and you simply just put in $50 with the same stop loss. Then you can adjust adjust your target. So essentially, have two orders the same stop loss and two targets that's that's I usually do that so but yeah it's pretty easy to use uh, another way if you don't want to use this thing here you can just simply I, I have this thing set up like that if I put that in go over to template stop loss and then my take profit would be over here this is another way of doing it I don't really do that that much but I kind of like this tool. It's pretty good for that. So yeah, and then you know if you want to manage your trade, like I said, this is a trade that I'm in right now. Not really on this time frame, but I am on the daily. So yeah, stop losses here. Take profits down here. And uh, yeah, you can keep adjusting your stop loss. You can bump your stop loss up here if you want to lock in some profits there's my all oh, there's all my stuff I don't know why it wasn't showing up but yeah you can move your stop loss and then you'd simply just hit modify to confirm it but yeah it's super easy to use I really like using the platforms together very simple very easy to place orders uh, you can manage it all down here you can see your profit transaction history all that stuff you can see orders here so right now I have an order to fill on US CAD uh, it's telling me that it's 79 pips away so it's honestly it's really good guys I, I really enjoy Oanda with trading view it's everything's all here got all my drawing tools up here so but yeah I'm gonna be doing more trading view tip videos uh, some of the stuff I use and how to customize trading view to use it for use it for your trading so yeah, like and subscribe, and uh, hopefully uh, that helped you guys out. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments. I'll try to answer them.